I eventually did go down and um, I, the, the first actual job that I got was, well, at least continuing job was Days of Our Lives. And then while I was on Days of Our Lives, I, um, I auditioned for The Last Starfighter. What an incredible movie that was. Um, Thank you. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's one of those films from the 80s that, you know, you had your Star Wars, you had Battlestar Galactica and things like that. And then Starfighter kind of snuck through. And for a while, for a while, you were kind of cool if you'd seen Starfighter. It was the sort of, you know, <laughs> I've seen this film and it's really cool and you should go and watch it kind of thing. And mm. um, But it re when, when it really took off over in, in the UK, because it wasn't released here till 89, um, mm. which is crazy when it was released in 84 in the states um it became massive on video it was on vhs really? when you, go, you know when you go to your blockbuster and rent your videos starfighter was massive and absolutely massive oh, and nice so, i didn't yeah. know that have you got any lasting memories of starfighter i mean obviously you do the convention circuit quite a bit don't you with so, a fair amount i mean not a ton but i do i do it maybe once or twice a year really yeah. I mean two or three times a year maybe um yeah I mean it was it was truly a wonderful experience first of all and I think that comes across on film what I like about the last starfighter yeah it's sort of piggybacked on the whole you know outer space kind of thing but what what I think makes it unique and maybe long lasting and this sort of a, a kind of a penetrating more way is that it's it's about just a couple of regular kids you know mm -hmm. in uh, a trailer park you know in a contemporary setting that are faced with this incredibly crazy situation i think you know i think one of the things that's great about it is that the audience can truly relate to it like they can say yeah, I, I am Alex or I am Maggie, you know, as opposed to the superheroes in outer space that in the future, you know, thousands of years in the future or whatever. Um, so, uh, but yes, it was a wonderful experience. Uh,